Okay, now to a somber day at yeah. Michigan State University. Volunteers began cleaning away the flowers and tributes to the victims of the campus shooting ahead of the snow tomorrow. But there are plans to make sure those tributes live on. Sean Lay live in East Lansing for us tonight. Sean, those makeshift memorials we saw, they just kept growing and growing. Hundreds, if not thousands, of flowers put down, hundreds of signs as well. Really emotional day here from East Lansing, Michigan. We watched it all go down. Everything we saw there at the rock and at the statue, the Spartan statue, that's all gone. Though. The memorials are gone, but there's a reason why they're gone and not forgotten. We're looking at a cleanup of all of the different um, flowers and bulbs and mementos here at the rock, but we're not necessarily cleaning up per se. We're planning on recycling the flowers that you see here and putting them to use as mulch for a memorial tree. The shooting at MSU February 13th took the lives of Ariel Anderson, Alexandria Verner, and Brian Frazier, also victimizing the entire MSU community. Life here, students tell us, will never be the same. Hundreds, if not thousands in this community shared their grief by placing flowers at the rock on campus and at the Sparty statue. The flowers and signs have been here 17 days. Snow is expected tomorrow. MSU student life and engagement saying today was the day to pick up these memorials, mulch those flowers to be used to feed a memorial tree. Student President Joe Kobach tells me there is emotion with every bouquet that is picked up, but this doesn't mean anyone is ready to move on. I'd say it's very heavy. Um, I know something I was really nervous about is I don't want students to just walk by and see it and not know what's happening. And, you know, it's, it's something that a lot of us have gotten very, very used to. It's a very comforting place to come. Um, so we made sure we had snacks and stuff so that people could come and ask what's happening and they can just grab some snacks. Because you don't want people to walk by and say, oh, they're taking it down. Right. <laughs> And because, that's also, but it can't stay forever. Right, and that's also why we tried to do it before spring break. So, like, we're not doing it over spring break, and then people come back, and it's like, oh, we're going to try to return to normal. Like, nothing's ever going to be normal after this. Nothing is ever going to be normal after this. That material, the flowers and signs started to break down in the weather. They said with the snow tomorrow, it's just a good time now to pick it up. And it's interesting, guys, because there's so many signs that were made Spartan Strong and attributes to the victims here. They're going to be preserved for the MSU archives. They're not going to be dumped in the trash. Really cool idea also, Devin. They're mulching up all those flowers, and there's piles of them, a mountain of flowers at two different scenes to feed that memorial tree. We learned tonight that it's going to be planted at Berkey Hall. Back to you. It'll be so enormous. All right, Sean.